In this video, we are going to convert these parametric equations, these parametric equations into its Cartesian form, y equals something involving x. So, uh, so instead of looking at this, let's, let's look at this one here. So instead of tan, let's look at sine. Now, if I were to ask you to convert this, to convert these into, um, into its Cartesian form, you would need to look for something that would connect this and this. Uh, and it turns out that um, you require this because it is this thing here that connects both x and y. So when you come to um, to turn to turn these into its Cartesian form, look for something that connects this and this. So so looking looking at this scenario here, it is this thing that connects both x and y. Because looking at this, if you square both sides, that will then give you this. Now looking at the y, square both sides, that will then give you this. So now you can put this into into here and then you can put uh, y squared into here so so we make use of this to come up with this so when so when you look at this um, look for something that connects both this and the tan so hang on so let's 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 rewrite tan t as let's rewrite tan t as uh, rewrite tan t as sine t over cos t um, because later on you can put this x into into here, but we need to sort out sine sine t. So uh, so let's look at this thing here. Let's look at this thing here. We need to somehow rewrite this in terms of in terms of x. So um, so looking at this, um, take away cos squared from both sides. That will then give us this. So when you square root, um, well basically we by making use of this. We can uh, we can replace sine t. So t sine t equals plus plus version negative version of this square root thing. So we can now put this whole thing into here. So that would then give us uh, uh, that, that 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 yeah that that would then give us this. Hang on, that would then give us plus negative square root one minus uh, cos squared t, and then divided by divided by, divided by, and then this thing here, well, we, we can put x into the cos t. That will then give us this. Now we can replace this. So um, so looking at this, if you square both sides, that will then give you this. So you can now put x squared into here. That will then take you to here. So if you get a graph plot and plot this, the positive version of the square root would be this red line here. And the negative version, because because if, if you look at this, you've got um you've got positive version and negative version of the square root. So the positive version of the square root gives you this, gives you the red line, and the negative version of the square root gives you this. Okay, so your your final answer would be would be this. Okay.